see what these people do. Yeah. So we're on our trip in Nicaragua, and we've uh, run into this. So. Yeah, they weren't. They were. Uh, that was interesting. Yeah, we just made it through the roadblock, and now we're on our way to to Hinatega. We came down here to shoot video and to help build a playground for people we know here in Hinatega, which is in the northern part of Nicaragua. Um, since we've gotten here, we found out that the roadblock we passed on the way in was just one of many, and they've also been strengthened, and now the route that we took to here from the airport is completely um, unpassable. So we are effectively stuck here for the time being. But uh, we're just going to focus on what we've come here to do and uh, just kind of look for other routes and weigh our options. So, yeah, I mean, not too concerned at this point, but we'll have to see where it goes. Here's a montage. <laughs> So it is now Thursday, which means we've been here for five days. The situation has definitely deteriorated a lot. Now there are a lot of semi-permanent roadblocks up in Hinatega, which is where we are. And it's looking very unlikely that we're going to be able to drive to any other city in the near future at any time. So uh, things have definitely gotten a lot more serious. We're about to go talk to our friend. Uh, who's gonna try to give us some advice on like what our options might be, so that's what's on the agenda for today. That's good, they got the riot police here. Yeah. They're keeping it open. I think we're gonna be able to get through for now. Yeah. Well, we'll try it on the way back, because this is obviously the better route. But right. we need to hurry. Is that true? Um, we're headed back to the Finca to get our stuff, and we're, we're gonna leave today. We've received word that uh, some of the blocks on the way to Managua might be lifted temporarily, so we're gonna make a break for it right now. There's two uh, places we gotta get through. 
uh, Sibaco and Tipitapa and those places both probably have roadblocks but we're hoping to uh, try to get through them so oh boy so we made it through Sibaco with no roadblocks uh, now we're gonna try to get the rest of the way to Monaco yeah some people have been flashing their headlights at us which means they're is probably a roadblock coming up. Oh, uh, yep, and here we are at our first roadblock of the day. There uh, seems to be no movement in our direction, but there's traffic coming from the other way, which is a good sign, which means they'll probably let us through eventually. So we're just gonna wait it out. All right, so after like 20 minutes, what'd you say, 25? No, 30 minutes. 30 minutes of waiting, we got through that roadblock. And we, uh, we got some paint. Yeah, we're all painted up now. We're all uh, pro a propaganda machine car here. So hopefully we can get the rest of the way now that we've been painted. We're coming in on Tippy Tapa. There's a lot of people here. Um, and there's some cars stopped. Maybe it's another block. It's like, looks like it is. Stopped again. We went for a good camera down. 15 minutes. Mm, putting the camera away. It's dark almost now. It's been. Whoa, we're probably pushing two hours yeah. at this one roadblock. Almost no forward progress at all. So, um, I don't know. It's raining now, so we're hoping the rain like makes them just go home and give up. But. We're just parked on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. We gave up on the roadblock because people were coming up to us and knocking on our windows and trying to get us to open them up so that they could rob us. And we figured it was only a matter of time before it like got later and they'd get bored and they'd come with like crowbars and stuff and start smashing windows and we lose everything. So we just turned around and got out of there. Now at this point we really, neither of us have any idea what to do. We're just sitting here trying to think of ideas. So it's really a pretty tough situation right now. So we drove about 30 minutes or so back north to Sabaco where we found this hotel, which is uh, meant for people to rent by the hour to use it uh, for obvious purposes. And uh, we're staying in here. It's kind of kind of gross, but it's 15 a night, so whatever. We're gonna get up at four in the morning and make another make another run for it. We're feeling pretty optimistic, at least I am. But uh, yeah, bad day. It is 3:45 in the morning. We're getting ready to pack up and head out in hopes that the protesters haven't gotten up this early or have gone to bed by now. We're gonna try our luck one more time. So, a lot riding on this one because we're gonna have to probably go back to Hinatega if this doesn't work. But, who knows. So, just say goodbye to the love seat for now. We're gonna hit the road. You could drive all the way down and check if you want. I guess. Yeah, if we just... Gets, if it's still thick, like, all the way down, then we're not going in. No right. way. But yeah, we just got to the block from yesterday, and it has not moved at all. It's even longer, in fact, than it was. So they haven't probably let anyone through. We're going up a little ways just to check it out, but we might have to try to take an alternate route that we, that we noticed. So we're taking a detour route that we found. It's gonna add like an extra, what, like two hours if we even, if we can even get around that way, uh, which is unlikely. It's a long shot, but we're going for it. Who knows?
this is our alternate route um, and the whole intersection you can tell the night before was filled with like pretty large roadblocks there's a bunch of burned out stuff and sticks and everything in the road so it'll it was like this last night and it'll probably be like this again soon so we're just not gonna risk it so yeah we're on our way into Hinatega and there's a lot of stuff burning down there I know this video is not that good because I'm too afraid to film anything because I'm afraid of losing my camera and having it stolen so I have, don't really have any footage, it's just me talking so I apologize for that. But uh, we made it to Hinatega safely, we're at our friend's house, we're staying here for the night and then tomorrow morning we are heading out again. Also, they're currently in the middle of the second national dialogue. Uh, the protesters are pretty much not going to settle with anything less than Ortega leaving the country and giving up power, so we'll see how that goes. We'll know in a few hours. La Comisión Mediadora del Diálogo Nacional, integrada por la Conferencia Episcopal de Nicaragua, que al concluir este... No, these things have really calmed down a lot, so we should be able to get through easily. Plus, we have these chicken masks to wear through any roadblocks. We're going to put these on, and they'll let us right through if we encounter any. So we are all set. We're passing through Las Maderas now, which is where we got stuck twice. That was where they had the huge, impassable roadblock. Here's the uh, little carnival thing. This is where we were stuck the first time for almost three hours. Almost lost everything. Almost, we almost got robbed right here. It was scary. I wish I had footage of it, but uh, I was way too scared to have the camera out. This was the block. Let's see where the actual block was. We're finally going to be able to see the remnants of the block, and it looks oh, like we it's right here. It. We were extremely close. This is the block right here that we were stuck at. That's the re that's the remains. Coming into the airport on clear, wide open roads. So we made it through, and we are in Managua, staying at a very nice hotel. Uh, it's only Saturday, and we're leaving on Monday, so we're just hanging out here. There's for the most part it seems like things have calmed down but you might be able to hear in the background there's still some mortar fire and a uh, lot, lot going on but uh, we're getting out of here we're safe now so cool <laughs> Castigaciones ni 